Welcome to the the third video of the series Cure Yourself and Change Your Life. In this video, we will explain how be honest and kind. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the alarm bell to receive all our updates. As well as pressing the like button. We start the way 3. Be honest. Honesty is the fastest way to prevent a mistake from turning into a failure. James Altucher The only thing worse than a liar is a thief. Liars make life difficult and often do not realize the far-reaching effects of their actions. Lying makes us unhappy people, who constantly have to be covering our tracks and watching our backs. In fact, there are few things as toxic as a liar. We should never allow the negativity in this world to force us to become dishonest people. Lying will only put you closer to the door that leads to cheating and stealing. Quit while you are ahead. Just think about the possible outcomes of a single act of dishonesty, permanent damage to your reputation. Permanent damage to your relationships. Loss of income. Loss of self-respect. Permanently damaging the reputation of another individual. Feelings of guilt. Loss of sleep. Loss of trust. If you research the word honesty, you find synonyms such as honor, sincerity, fairness, integrity, uprightness, virtue and truthfulness. Being honest requires more than not lying when in a difficult situation. Being honest requires being morally upright in all things. In other words, we will try to be truthful in all things and gain the trust of those around us, by means of our actions. But honesty is a very tricky thing. It is hard to list all the areas in which we need to be honest. A good rule of thumb if you are unsure if an act is honest or not, is whether you have to hide it or deceive someone into believing you did otherwise. If you will need to hide or cover your tracks after doing or saying something, you are probably not being honest. The benefits of being honest far outweigh any challenges you may perceive as a result of this course. Think of the peace of mind of not having to rethink your every move or watching over your shoulder because you are constantly in fear of being found out. Imagine waking up and not being burdened by the heavy guilt as a result of your actions. And don't be fooled into thinking that no one benefits from your honesty. It is very easy to become attracted to and to respect someone who is honest. Most employers include that quality as being of the utmost importance when seeking new recruits or considering a possible promotion of someone within their organization. Being honest does not mean that we should volunteer all of our confidential affairs to everyone who is trying to pry into our business. Instead, we should not withhold relevant information from individuals who deserve a truthful answer. Being honest also means avoiding the various means that will pop up to get more than we deserve or leading someone to believe something about ourselves that is not true. There are, however, times when some of us might find ourselves in very catastrophic situations because we are thought of as being too honest. This is often the case when our words are not tempered with kindness. The next part will explore how that attribute can help us avoid a lot of the problems that can result from that sort of speech. Secondly way 4 be kind kindness as the language which the deaf can hear and the blind can see. Mark Twain being kind means being warm, considerate, gentle and friendly. To get a friend, you must be a friend. Even more cliché as the saying, birds of a feather, flock together. If you want to attract happy, supportive people into your life, you need to be that kind of person. Why would anyone want to be around you otherwise? 
As the wise Maya Angelou highlighted, long after the memory of the interaction has faded, people will remember how that interaction made them feel. When we are unkind, we make the lives of those around us much harder than it has to be. We make them feel unloved, underappreciated, and isolated when we are mean or unpleasant. Would you want anyone to treat you that way? Would you enjoy such harsh treatment? Don't you think treating people that way at work, at school or in your own home, makes your life a lot harder than it has to be as well? Kindness fosters a spirit of cooperation, even among people who do not really know each other. Surrounding yourself with people who are willing to work alongside you is far easier than trying to conquer this world alone. Being unkind envelopes a wide variety of actions. Our words are the most common form of unkindness. Being harsh, condescending or even abrupt, can be interpreted as unkind. Using your words to put others down and elevate yourself is not only unkind, it is also a very selfish act, that often causes more harm than good. A key aspect of kindness is being polite. Let us take some time to learn more about this beautiful quality. Why be polite being polite is really not as hard as some people make it seem. While it is true that being polite is becoming increasingly difficult as a result of the negative attitudes of the people around us, it is not impossible. Being polite might inflate the ego of these individuals, but our being polite is not a reflection on them. Our being polite reflects positively on our character, come what may. Individuals who are polite are often thought of as kind, principled, professional and pleasant. And with this very interconnected world that we live in, you just never know who you might have insulted. Just imagine how embarrassed you will be if you show up for a job interview, only to realize that the man you just cursed in the parking lot because you think they parked in your spot is actually the interviewer. Trust me, it has happened many times before and could happen to you. Being polite involves being respectful and considerate of the needs, feelings, time, resources, values and cultural norms, of others. Being polite and kind will make you very likable and will encourage others to reciprocate your consideration. Another benefit of being polite is that it will make it very easy for you to gain the respect of those around you. Even if they do not instantly change their behavior, they will be forced to respect you and your standards. Eventually, they may change for the better as a result of your efforts. Wouldn't life be much easier if we all had jobs in which our employees, subordinates, and colleagues all treated us with respect? Respect has to be earned and being polite is one of the easiest ways to earn it. How to be polite and kind 1. If you have nothing kind to say, don't say it, post it on social media or even think it. Even words that are whispered to a friend have been known to turn around and bite you. 2. Don't be stingy with greetings and salutations. If you enter a room, pleasantly greet all present. When you are leaving, kindly excuse yourself. And if you are greeted, respond warmly and with a smile. 3. Do not criticize the efforts of others, especially when it is obvious that they tried very hard to accomplish a particular task. If you must offer some constructive criticism, sandwich it with some genuine commendation. 4. Be appreciative of the efforts of others. Even if what is presented is not to your liking, there is no need to make it known. 5. Try to learn a little about the cultural norms and beliefs of those around you. You do not have to share their views, you simply need to know enough not to unintentionally offend them. 
it is also most polite to allow them to freely express these views, without fear of being disrespected. You can always agree to disagree. 6. You do not always have to insist on things being done your way. Give someone else a chance to shine every now and then. 7. Don't monopolize conversations by speaking only about yourself and your accomplishments. Show personal interest in others by asking them about themselves and actually listening to what they have to say. 8. When someone is speaking to you, give them your full attention. Stop walking, typing or whatever else you are doing, and make eye contact. If you are busy, politely pause, evaluate how lengthy the conversations needs to be, assure them that you value what they have to say, and then arrange a more suitable time to continue. Thank for watching.